Commissioner John Godfrey. It's that time of year when we have to brace for all kinds of infectious diseases. One to watch out for is RSV, particularly in young children. Doctors are urging us to take extra precaution. The respiratory illness looks like the common cold, but it could bring with it dire consequences if proper care isn't taken. Symptoms of RSV include a runny nose, decrease in appetite, coughing, as well as sneezing, a fever, and wheezing. RSV could affect anyone, but it can be found mostly in babies and toddlers be below the age of two. Sanford Health pediatrician Dr. Evan Rogler says while most kids get better on their own, it could also require serious medical treatment. RSV has been known to cause children to need more support, and support that sometimes is only available in a hospital setting. So when someone is infected with RSV, we just perk up a little bit. We pay more attention, knowing that this child, now infected with RSV, could go from pretty good right now to not so great in a, in a relatively short period of time. Like many viral infections, there is no cure or treatment. Dr. Rogler explains some of the best ways to help prevent RSV. The number one answer is always hand washing, especially in children, because they play, they put their hands in their mouth. They eat, they put their hands in their mouth. And then they're sharing all those germs with their friends and their family members. It also lives on surfaces, this virus. And so we can do our best to clean those surfaces regularly, make sure the doorknobs and tables and floors are clean. Unchecked RSV infections could result in chronic respiratory illnesses like asthma in children. Rugler says the best way to tell if your child has RSV or not is to have them seen by a doctor or health practitioner.